Hello everybody, we're live from Cabu Space Gallery. I'm with Daniela, our today's artist. Introduce yourself. Please. Hello, I'm Daniela, I'm a painter and I am enjoying this evening with Urban Sense. Yeah, sorry, this is really noisy tonight, but yeah, so tonight we're presenting Daniela's work in collaboration with Urban Sense. So she did some amazing designs that you can see behind. Like all the designs are related to the perfume. So can you please tell us what inspires you in your band and the fragrance and so on? I was I was really inspired by the stories behind the for every every fragrance, uh, by the ingredients, uh, by the powerful woman that Marie is and the powerful fragrances that each each one of those are. Yeah, uh, so for those who don't know, Marie is the perfumer creator who made the perfume in Urban Sense. The brand belongs to her, all the perfumes were created by her. She's actually really famous. And her perfumes are amazing. So for you guys who can't really smell the perfumes or try to make you discover tonight's exhibition, it's very, very noisy. There are a lot of people. Yes. Right? But yeah, we have a wrong look. So okay. So someone's taking pictures of us. Hello. <laughs> so can you explain us briefly what what led you to to work with ink painting? Um, I used the blue because it's the color of the brand, and I used ink because it. Fragrances and perfumes are about emotions, about memories, about something that is essential but is also really unmaterial in a way. Uh, and ink gives the spontaneity and the and the freedom of fragrances. At the same time, you can control more or less uh, what is behind each image. So it's ink works in a similar way as as fragrances. That's why I choose it. Okay. Could you please maybe tell us what inspired you to do, for example, Oriental the Oriental Tales perfume? So, if you want to have a look, this is Oriental Tales. Um, in general, I wanted to be um, the, the balance, to manage the balance between an uh, uh, abstraction of the fragrances, but also to give us a hint of to relate to the name, uh, the shapes, or the stories behind every one of the of the things. Uh, yeah, basically it was. So yeah, Oriental Taste is, a, is a one of the candles, the three uh, the three candles that Urban Sense have. We have six perfumes, three candles. They are all unique. The smell is very particular. So Oriental Taste is like inspired, of course, by Orient. And here is the design we have. So we have the original paintings as well, which are here and which are not to be sell, very sadly. <laughs> but these ones are. <laughs> yeah, these ones are to sell. So if you want to buy them, you have to come to Berlin actually. But yeah, check. Come and check the. Come and check your Benson's uh, website to get more info. And thank you, Daniela. My pleasure, my honor. You can say hello to our two viewers. <laughs> hello, the two viewers. Very nice of you to watch. <laughs> Oh, and what are you drinking? What is that? Um, we are drinking a special cocktail inspired is, is by the fragrances cool? too. Is it alcohol? Yes. yes. Is it good? Yes. What is it? What's inside? Do you know? I don't know. I think it's tequila. <laughs> I think it's tequila. Yes, it's the, it's the cocktail inspired by one uh, fragrance called Dia de los Muertos. Yes. Because tonight, guys, we're having, we're having a mixologist who actually created cocktails just for us. I'm going to introduce you to him. He's over here. You can have a look. Like, this is very messy, but... We are working today with the mixologist of the Miss Carlton Fragrances Bar. He actually made two cocktails. That's the thing that inspired by the European Sense Fragrances. This is a bit even to make a look at Hello. Hello. Say hello to the Facebook live. 
Ah. Oh, by the way, we're gonna do a drink right now. This is the Dia Los Muertos. So we use some, of course, great perfume, amazing tequila. Then we use it's an anejo tequila, which actually represents leather in the cocktail. Then we use freshly squeezed lemon juice and uh, frankincense, patchouli, and orange flower syrup, which is here. And we use those extracts here. And then we get a drink that looks like this. Amazing. So let's watch how it does here. And this is Vanessa, by the way. Yeah. Hello, Vanessa. <laughs> My job, introduction. my job is to make people, oh I look drunk, <laughs> <laughs> my job, uh, let's, let's uh, both be on the picture, my job is to make people very happy, I'm a bartender so I have the best job in the world. Well so, you're more than a bartender actually, are you? I love to tell stories and with a perfume you can actually, with one spray, you can tell more than thousand stories or words in one spray. Exactly. So that's why my inspiration and menu is perfumes. So in our bar, in Fragrances Bar, at the Red Carlton at Botsama Platz in Berlin, we have no written words, no menu, no written menu, we only have perfumes and pictures. Mm -hmm. So just like here in the Vénissage, we have pictures and perfumes. People can choose their favorite drink with emotions while exactly. looking at the picture and the perfume. Yes, but actually you're a mixologist, right? Yeah, true. That's your job. You're a true mixologist from the Red Carlton in Berlin, Fragrance Bar. So quick question. How can you, how is it possible actually to transform a smell, a fragrance, into a taste, something to taste, like a, like a cocktail? If you look at the DNA of a perfume, it's like gin. So uh, it's a distilled product, you have uh, ingredients like peels, herbs, um, fruits. So basically, the same way like gin is uh, put together, perfume also put together. So my inspiration is from the perfume, and then I use the same ingredients that are used inside the perfume, and I use it for the cocktail. So that's it. Okay, thank you. And uh, very fast, what's your favorite perfume so far from Urban Sense? Your favorite one? Uh, actually, I just bought myself Vetiver Réunion because I you love it. it. I bought it. Good thank job, you. good thank job. You. He bought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite as well. Good so choice. yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. See you in Fragrance Bar. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ja, aber ich glaube, Berlin war besonders stark getroffen. Ja, ja, ja. Dadurch, dass dann ja was of Urban Sense, so I'm going to ask you a few questions, right? So Marie, introduce yourself very quickly. So I'm Marie Lefebvre, you can hear I'm French, I'm living in Berlin and we moved um, two or three years ago and uh, yes, it's lovely. And what's your job? What are you doing exactly? So my work is creating fragrances, either for our brands, Urban Sense, which is the subject of the event tonight, or for other brands of people, but um, it's a secret. <laughs> okay, so tell us, Marie, why you actually decided to work with Daniela? Why did you pick up her work? So, Daniela is just here, so Daniela, Daniela, hi! Hey. So, so, tell us why, how well, come did you work together? How, why are we working together? Because life is wonderful. <laughs> Where art is coming together. Exactly. Uh, uh, um, Daniela is creating uh, visual art and I'm creating uh, smelling art. So it's just uh, yes, meeting and sharing the same passion. Exactly. Thank you. 
Okay, and what, Marie, can you tell us please, what exactly did you like in her work? Uh, in her work, I just, it's just really a sensibility. I think those colors and the way she's uh, treating uh, the ink material was just, uh, has no explanation, it really touched me. Okay. Yeah, it's more about feeling. It's just like meeting people, getting the right feeling, and you have a whole exhibition popping out, literally. So, maybe you can tell us a bit about the new fragrance from your oh, The new fragrance from your Bartens is called Vétiver Réunion. So, I'm French, but I'm partly also from the Réunion Island, which is in the middle of the Indian Ocean, nearby Madagascar. And there is there one in ingredient that is really my favorite one, which is called Vétiver. And when I've heard that they stopped the production there, it's so special that uh, I tried to work with the local producer to replant this ingredient to have this amazing quality that used to, to be used in the old fragrances. And actually, the idea was to make a, a modern contemporary vetiver. And uh, yes, that's what we have done. Yeah, and vetiver is the last fragrance of your baton, so it's made with the roots, right? From La Réunion. From La Réunion, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, so, what is vetiver? Vetiver is this kind of fruit. Uh, it looks like spaghetti and actually um, they smell like wood, a little bit of grapefruit. They are very fresh and they are very amazing. So I'm sorry yeah. you cannot smell them. But my vetiver favorite ingredient is the essence. It's the pure oil. Oops. Mm. You have the pure oil of vetiver. I love it. It's really strong, it smells really strong. Yes, so actually we are using um, this mixed with other ingredients and then you put it in a solution of alcohol, so it's not as strong as that. And the, special, the, the characteristic of this Vetiver Réunion fragrance which we have created for Urban Cell, lots of this Vetiver Réunion uh, ingredient with lots of messes, so it's really balancing with the raw earthy aspect of the ingredient, of the Vetiver ingredient, with mask which is making it more cozy, comfortable and wearable. Yeah, and actually Marie made a very special perfume, a limited edition for a previous exhibition, also with Vetiver. It's not the same fragrance, so we have the Vetiver Réunion perfume and we also have the limited edition she made for the previous exhibition, which is made of Vetiver but also with the oxygen note because the, the artist we exhibited was uh, Jean, um, Michel Granger and there was some actuality of uh, the Jean-Michel Jarre oxygen number no. 3 which has been launched on Michel Granger. Maybe we can show the picture. Yeah. I'll show, uh, show you Michel Granger a bit later. And the idea was to work on the vetiver because Michel is working on the earth, mixing with oxygen and very clean and fresh and uh, unexpected uh, top notes. And I think that's your favorite fragrance here. Yes, it is, it is. It's my favorite fragrance, definitely. It's the most simple fragrance we have. The lighter we have, I think. According to me, yeah, that's my opinion. But yeah, that's my favorite. That's the most expensive as well. But because, like, the bowl is very special. We have a special engravement, so... Yeah. Signed by Jean-Michel Signed, Roger, signed by the artist as well. Okay, I will have to leave you now and go Thank back you, to Marie. the guest. And I'll let you introduce the yeah. Michel Granger yeah. oxygen. I'll show you, I'll show you Michel Granger. <laughs> I'll show Michel Granger a bit later. I'm just gonna stay with Daniela's work for the moment. I'm gonna try to ask people what they think about today's exhibition. We have loads of friends of Daniela who actually came to see her first exhibition in Berlin. I'm going to try to talk to some. I don't know if they're going to be receptive though. Um, uh, I found one. He looks interesting. Hi guys, do you speak English? Yeah? Do you want to be broadcasted on a live Facebook Live? If I do want to be... On our Facebook Live? Okay. You're friends of Daniela, right? No, no you're not? I thought you were. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no I'm sorry. Okay, is this your first time... Is this your first time in our gallery? In yeah, it's the yes. first time. Yeah. Did you try the perfumes? Yeah, I tried them. Not all of them, but I really enjoyed it. Which one and did you try? I just tried this one, the Desert Rose. This is Desert Rose? Yeah, it is amazing, yeah? I have to say. This is 
This is our best seller. This is the one we sell the most. Yeah, yeah, I see. I mean, I can understand why. <laughs> so, what do you like in this perfume? Um, you can smell it, you can smell it. It's simply amazing. I mean, it's like um, not that strong, I have to say. It's like enjoyable. Very light? Yeah, exactly. It's the light food. Actually, all, all the perfumes are unisex. So okay. These are for yeah, guys yeah, yeah. And women as well. Maybe this one is a bit more feminine. Okay. Because there are these rolls now, mm. which is a bit But heavy. I like it anyway. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and what do you think about the designs? They are really good. They're really good. I mean, I can see. Um, um, there was this connection between the perfume and the art. And I found it very uh, interesting. Yeah? It's an did interesting see, connection. Yeah. Did you see the originals as well? Uh, not yet, but I would see in our while. Yeah, these ones are the printed edition. Sorry? These ones are the limited printed edition okay, of the original designs which are in the back of the, the room. Okay, I see. So I'll see it in a while. Have a look afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, very you much. Too. No problem. Say goodbye to our viewers. Bye, <laughs> see you. Good like. <laughs> okay, first impression about the exhibition quite good for the moment. Botanical fusion. These are the scents. This is it. So we are doing extracts for cocktails, so which are inspired by perfumes, of course. And now we will introduce them into this beautiful cocktail sweeter. <laughs> He's laughing behind us. Hey, don't laugh. So this is Alan, this is the mixologist, so you can You have to try it, guys, you have to try it, seriously. Yeah? So can you tell us a bit about Botanical Fusion, yeah. what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, for? yeah, actually, so there is a concept in the Ritz Carton of the fragrances, and we wanted to make the cocktail smell a little bit, or not that smell of um, alcohol that much, and so now there is a concept of perfume and cocktails, um, they're, they're kind of smelling, and uh, you can recreate any cocktail the same as a perfume like Chanel or Dior. 
or urban sense of course urban sense urban, urban sense. sense that's why we have four <laughs> And uh, which is actually the topic of the day. So uh, the same ingredients like in the perfume of urban sands. We have the mirror and the small bottles of botanical perfume. And so now we can infuse them into the cocktails and they um, taste and smell kind of like a perfume. But it's nothing dangerous and it's uh, really, really tasty and yummy. Yeah, you can, you can actually eat it. You can actually drink it. You won't die. It's not poisonous or whatever. So thank you everything is like hundred percent natural. Yeah. So no chem nothing like uh, no chemistry, nothing. Okay. No, you were Okay Valeria, can you tell us please what is your favorite perfume among the Urban Sense preferences? What's yeah. your favorite one? Uh, so my favorite is uh, Lost Paradise. Of course, I love this fragrance. I wear it every day so to seduce uh, my colleagues and, <laughs> and bosses. <laughs> okay. Seriously, and guys, it works. So uh, why, why is it your pretty favorite one? Uh, okay, so there is musk inside. I love musk because it's so intense and um, it's kind of I mean, animalic, uh, but you don't smell it that much and so strong. Yeah, it's but nice. it's like a small touch, right? So a small touch of uh, mask, and uh, you you feel it like you 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 kind of spread it everywhere. This uh, kind of animalic, sexy, and I love sexy. Yeah, yeah, she's very, very sexy. <laughs> you guys can't can't see the heels she's wearing, but she's wearing really really high heels. I'm a bit red. I haven't drink yet. I'm, it's just really hot. I didn't drink tonight. It's just super hot. But oh, so Valeria. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Valeria, yeah, did you see? Did you see the design? Like the paintings and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite one? What's the uh, favorite? Can, uh, can, can I kind of show it? Okay. So my favorite is the one of uh, Desert Rose. Let Desert me, Rose. Desert, Desert Rose. Rose. It's a beautiful painting. Let I'll show you. I'll show you already, but I can show you again later. Yeah. Desert Rose. Yeah. So why is it your favorite design? What is your favorite oh, painting? It, it, it's like you know, it, it inspires me somehow. I I can I just look at it and it's like I feel something deserty and mysterious. Yeah. Okay, thank you Valeria. Say goodbye to you. Bye everyone. Thank you. So Valeria is working. Valeria is working for Cavus Space as well. Hello guys, do you wanna do you wanna be interviewed for play Facebook? Yes? I found people, that's so cool, that's so cool. Can we uh, can we can we both be on or like Do you want one us to be Okay, let's be both. Okay, I'm here Hello, with... World. Hello, I'm, I'm Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. So, how come did you arrive in this exhibition? Uh, well, I'm friends with Daniela. Oh, he's a friend of Daniela. I met her at an exhibition that she was working at, and it was another awesome artist. Okay. And, um, yeah. And, of course, I had to come tonight to see her work. I actually, I've been telling her to put up, to do her own exhibition for months. Yeah. And I'm glad that she actually did yeah, it. I'm very happy. Yeah, this is her first, very first exhibition in Berlin, like with only her work presented in the rooms of the gallery. So did you try the perfumes? You watched the, the designs and everything? Yeah. yeah. Yes? I love So it. maybe, maybe you can tell us what's your favorite painting? Uh, definitely the rose. The, uh... the desert rose again, again, again. Someone just told me that the desert rose was his favorite as well. The, de so the desert, desert rose. rose is a hit. It's a it's hit. It's a hit. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is really funny because this is our best seller. The perfume, the desert rose perfume, is the perfume we sell the most. It's very, very successful. So why? Ooh. <laughs> Something fell. <laughs> so tell us, why is your desert rose your favorite? Um, well, the painting, first off. Okay. The, the painting itself, it's uh, very subtle. It's not overbearing. Yeah, it's really simple. It's very simple. You don't have to be a pro, whatever. Just, just see the painting and you like it. Yeah. And yeah. when I smelled the scent, it was super calm and peaceful. And uh, yeah, that's the kind of uh, smell that I would like to have on me 
Or, or my girlfriend, actually. So. Yeah, actually, all the perfumes of Ruben Tense are unisex, are really tallest. They're but unisex. They're all unisex. Boys or girls can wear it. Like, well, maybe Desert Pro is a bit more girly. Okay. Because there is rose in it. That's cool. But you can wear it as well. I think it's very sexy for, for a guy to wear like a very sweet perfume. We're in Berlin, so I think I can. Yeah, we're in Berlin, you can do whatever you want, actually. Nobody will care. Okay, so what are Very you drinking? Cool. What are you drinking exactly? Um, do I actually know? don't know what the name of this okay, is. Okay, I know, I know what it is, guys. I can <laughs> tell you. This? this cocktail, this cocktail is called Lost Paradise. It's inspired by one of your Van Sant's perfumes, and I'm teaching him something. Okay. This was inspired by one of your Van Sant's perfumes called Lost Paradise, and this cocktail has a hibiscus flower. This is a hibiscus flower in the middle. Do you like the cocktail? It's really nice. Yeah? It's really nice. My favorite one though, this is not my favorite. I don't know if you guys can tell that I've been drinking a bit <laughs> since I've been here. But um, there's another one, it's called um, The Day of Death. Ah yeah, Dia, Dia de los Mortos. Dia that, de los that, Mortos. That, that might be my favorite drink. They are, okay, this, and maybe I need to tell you guys, but the cocktails are quite strong. There are a lot of alcohol in it, though, so they are quite strong. So I can tell you that half the people in here are a bit drunk. Yeah. Are you drunk as well? No, no, I'm not because I haven't drank yet. You haven't, haven't you're just drank. serving drinks, you're not, you're not drinking. I'm not serving drinks either, I just... <laughs> I'm not a waitress. But, uh, yes, yeah, cool. so what do you like in this cocktail? Um, it's very sweet, right? It's, it's flowery. Could you describe it? It's uh, very sweet. It's not, uh, it's not overbearing. Uh, you can Very barely nice. even taste the alcohol. Ah, you know? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the this is the cocktail like the more the lighter one. Yeah. Here. And it, it smells like a flower. Yeah, but that's normal. There's a flower in the middle. Yeah, there's a flower <laughs> in the middle, so of course. <laughs> that's that's normal. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much. Take it. Say goodbye to our viewers. Bye Take bye. Take care, guys. Well. So. Maybe I'm gonna show you again this perfume we're all talking about, the very, very successful ones. Someone interesting here. I'm gonna talk to her again. Hey, hey! Hell fucking yeah, life is short. We love you. Okay, hello, this is the live, bro live Facebook broadcast. <laughs> Daniela, I think we're gonna end the broadcast. So, Thank you very much for watching. There's one person watching. That's it. I think it's your father. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! So it's okay, you can see it. Happy to. Yeah? Did you try? Who are we speaking with? Facebook. Hello, Facebook. I love you to death. This is a, this is a live broadcast. Okay. Live broadcast. Hi, guys. So, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Sebastian. Sebastian. Okay. So, have you tried the perfume? Yeah. So, like, um, I knew of the brand before, and oh. like, so the the, the type of scent that I liked before is gunpowder. Gunpowder is the one ah. that I used from before. I don't even ask you other questions, he already knows. Gunpowder is your favorite. Yeah, that's Why? the one that I like the most. Why? That's like for like for you guys the like really manly manly guys, gunpowder is the shit. I love that shit. Why? Thank you. Why anyway. why is it your favorite? Why? Um because like I I like more than like sweet scents, I like ones that have like a bit like like a bit more like complicated and like bitter like level tones to it. Um, it's not gunpowder is not that intense immediately like to your face but like if you're standing with somebody who has gunpowder in an elevator you sort of wait for a little bit and you're like hmm something is up something yeah. is up you don't know what it is and you remember the smell you, and you remember, remember the smell absolutely so gunpowder is the one that I prefer the most yeah this is very catchy very catchy smell absolutely yeah and also like I really like green tea that's labeled gunpowder for drinking 
I like the taste of it for drinking, and so it makes sense that I use it for, like in in, um, in scents. And uh, so you like the painting as well, related to gunpowder? Absolutely. Yeah. So um, I I all, like I'm really lucky because I knew the painter from before. So Daniela and I have had a very long and nice friendship, and I've known her work ever since like the early 2000s. And what she did, if I'm not mistaken, that is the gunpowder. Oh, right. So this is gunpowder. This is what we're talking about. That's it right there. So, like, it, it, it's a really cool use of like the ink and like the splatter, which makes it look like a like, like a gun yeah. explosion, like a powder explosion. It works really well. It makes me think of the perfume because the perfume is like it's like really bitter and tough in a really subtle way. So there it is, and it works perfectly. Yeah, yeah. But like all the paintings are not made the same way, of course. This is actually the only the only painting man made like it was like a dripping an ink dripping. So this is your favorite painting so far as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So actually the first who really likes gunpowder because all the other people I asked were really big fans of Desert Rose. Okay. You smelled it? You tried it? I have smelled it before. Yeah, it's much more sweet. Very 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 different. The painting is very different as well. But yeah, all the all the urban fragrances are like unique. All of them are very special. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Come on, guys. We'll be in depth. <laughs> I'm going to try to find Daniela and we're going to end our broadcast. Where is she? I'm going to try to find her. Daniela, Daniela, where are you? Where are you? Have you seen Daniela? I'm trying to find the artist to end the broadcast the better possible. Okay, she is not here. Ah, she's here, she's here. Okay, girl, I think you can say goodbye to our three viewers. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching us. Yeah, we tried to make you feel part of our event. How was it so far? Did you like it? Did you have time? I'm, I'm really happy. Did you I'm meet happy. a lot of people? Yes, new people, friends. Yeah. I'm really, really content. What was, what was the general feedback about the exhibition? Everybody was really happy. Did you have like a mixture? Yes. Comments. Everybody, everybody said it was a really good mixture between the fragrances, the images, um, and the, the environment. It was a success. Yeah. So far. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you guys. We say bye bye. Bye bye. And if you guys want to come one day, the exhibition of Daniela is on until the 29th of April. We open from Tuesday to Saturday from 11 p from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you guys want to try the perfume, see the paintings, you can. And Daniela won't be here every day, sadly, very sadly. This is the My very work sad. is here, so the I'm work of myself is here. The work is here, and that's the most important. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! She's drinking alcohol again. <laughs> They're almost not in cocktails anymore. Okay, bye guys.